Campus Project Assessment of Services Using Simple Systems is a project that was started by World Vision to help in monitoring of coverage and access to health and nutrition services by the community. So the idea of PASS project was initiated in uh, 2013. It came in as a pilot in few programs. The project was sponsored by World Vision Canada and it was implemented in Soin and Motata area development programs. The PASS framework involved engaging ADP and Ministry of Health teams to use District Health Information System 2, Health Unit Capacity Assessment, Community Health Functionality Assessment and Health Facility Assessment, Lot Quality Assurance Sampling and World Vision Stepwise Data to prioritize service gaps, plan improvement interventions and at the same time generate data that supports the evidence of the interventions. One of the purposes of PASS was mainly to improve the monitoring of health projects within the sub-county. And over that time, uh, we have seen many changes, particularly in how we collect and analyze information and also use it in the implementation of uh, health projects within the sub-county. The PASS project had two targets. The first target was on, on issues to do with number of children that are well nourished. So the second one is it has to do on number of children protected from infections and disease. So that one looked at issues to do with uh, immunization, uh, issues to do with uh, appropriate uh, management of diarrhea, which, are, which is the common um, killer among these children in Kenya and even across sub-Saharan Africa and also prevention of malaria and management of uh, fever and malaria. Several tools were used to collect data. Questionnaires were the main tools for data collections. In the first uh, LQA survey that was done in the year 2012 and 2013, we utilized the paper-based questionnaires or, or, or manual and uh, we felt that it was hectic. We were not, we, actually there were a number of errors that were coming up when we were collecting using questionnaires and again you, uh, people would, would sit under the trees and cook data. But in the year 2014, the LQS for 2014, we utilized uh, uh, a new program or software which is referred to as OTK using the tablets. And uh, this one enabled us to collect good data uh, of good quality in the sense that it was even taking the coordinates of households that we, we sampled. Another tool that we utilized was the AIM tool for the Community Health Workers Functionality Assessment. It's a tool developed by USID and we administer to the CIWs to be able to understand their capacities. Before PASS came in, there was no way of assessing whether a community health unit is functional or not. Now with functionality we mean there are 15 components of health that are checked that show whether this community unit is able to run on its own without relying on, say, continuous support from partners. It is able to sustain itself in terms of income generating activities and it also has a leadership structure, a main, among other, other, other components of functionality. So we assessed that. The information gathered was analyzed and reports presented annually or semi-annually, while a total evaluation of the project was done upon completion. The past project generated several reports. One of the reports that we generated was LQS on an annual basis from 2011, 2012, 2013 and 2014. And this report contained information on various child well-being indicators that as a program we were monitoring to see whether we are making impact and uh, we are making progress towards our project, our program goal. Uh, the report contained information on uh, uh, the status, health status of children under five because that is our main area, our main focus, and also uh, pregnant and lactating mothers. We also connected, collected information on child protection and food security to be able to assess whether we are making progress in ensuring that all children are protected uh, from abuse. Another report that we generated was uh, with support from the Minister of Health was DHIS. We were able to analyze DHIS information from facilities within our catchment area. We have 10 facilities. And from that, from that information, we were able to see what is the level of uptake of various health services that are offered within our program area. 
we were able to generate reports, uh, step management report that could show how many children are not fully immunized, those who are partially immunized. You could also see how many children are malnourished and those who do not have health cards. So once we get that data, it enables us as the ADP and even the person handling health project to follow up with those particular children. The PASS project has been an outstanding success, as several best practices indicate. Community functionality assessment is one of the best practices I could identify in PASS initiative. Using that, we are able to know the level of progress for every community unit that we are working with. LK Marakwet County has also adopted a number of initiatives, one being CIW functionality assessment and also LQS. Again, through this project, we've trained a number of staff from the region and they have taken up an in this initiative of doing annual monitoring using LQS, which will be starting between uh, June to September this year. Just from the household visits, we realize that there are some community members that have to walk very far to an outreach site. From there, we actually allocated an outreach, some extra outreaches that went closer to the community members that needed it. Through the project, we procured some chalk boards, which are basically tools uh, to help in reporting uh, yeah, uh, for as far as the community units or the community health volunteers are concerned. So these ones were, these ones were distributed to the community units so that they can to help them report and also track you know, the progress of the various indicators in their area. We also have the dashboards or the tracking dashboards that are helping us track also like all the relevant indicators that we have. In the last financial year we were recognized by the regional office that we produce the best semi-annual and annual reports within within this region. And our county was recognized as one of the safest counties for mothers to deliver in Kenya because of the concerted efforts, because of the data that is available, it is shared with the partners and key decisions are made towards enhancing skilled delivery. Referrals have actually increased and even as we go to the DHIS, we realize that there's improvement and mothers are being referred to give birth in the hospitals. We have very few uh, missed opportunities, especially in immunization. Community health strategy involves training of community health volunteers to prevent, cure, and report health cases. They also help to mobilize uptake of health services within the communities. Kazi ukweli ni kwamba tangu tumeianza naona iko na manufaa kwa shauri tulipata elimu kupitia kwa wali vision. Lengo letu asa sana ni kupunguza mambo ya magonjo. Naweko kiangalia area hii. Sa hii watu tumefundisha watu kuchimba mashimo ya taka, kamba, mambo ya cho, sa hii tukuna liktin. Through the community health volunteers, there has been a notable decrease in mortality rate. Zamani wakina mama walikuwa nazalia nyumbani. Kwa vivyote vile ufanye nini, ufanye nini, lakini walikuwa nazalia nyumbani. Lakini kwa sasa tumewaelimisha. Sasa hivi tumepunguza vifo vya wakina mama, tumepunguza vifo vya watoto. Ukweli ni kwamba mimi navunia hiyo. Kwangu nimeona kujifungulia hospitali ni vizuri sana tena zaidi. Kwa sababu mimi kama ningelikuwa huyu heli wangu kama ningelikuwa nimejifungulia hapa nyumbani ningepoteza maisha yangu. Jua nilifanya operation the reports from community health volunteers helped to identify vulnerable community members. Like in the maternity, they were able to give us the infant warmer, they gave us the suction machine, they gave us the nebulizer, they gave us the oxygen concentrator, the BP machines and uh, digital thermometers. An example of Mondabogol community unit where those uh, health workers or community health volunteers are doing a good job in reporting. So, and also uh, because they, they, are, they are very active, they keep encouraging mothers to deliver the health facility. So from the data that they kept submitting, and so the county was able to realize that the deliveries in that area 
are quite high and the area needed a maternity unit and that was established because of the community health of our volunteers, the work they were doing. As a result of exclusive breastfeeding, children are healthier and cases of stunted growth have reduced. Tofauti ya gift na wengine, kwanza ya gift ya gonje ki ovi ovi, au wengine walikuwa ki gonje kasana. Alafu, anaenda vizuri, wale wengine hawakuwa wanaongeza kama viliwe ya naongeza makilo. The project has boosted health uptake in the communities. Upanda kumarisha usafi ya maji, kuboil maji kabla kukunywa, nafikiria sana sana taifu ya data imepotea potea na magonjwa mingi mingi kutoka kwa maji. Asa suizi tuko na maji safi ambayo tulisaidio na walifishwa. Tumeweza kuzuia madudu kusumbua maana sana sana ukiona kwa watoto ambao wamefamua na dudu inawapanda kichwa wanachelewa kwa kimasomo kishule. Alafu tumefunza tumezuia ukifika kama hospitali yetu kupata reports kama malaria ni ngumu sana kwa sababu tumewazuia jinsi ya kuzuia humbu kama clearing bush clearing eh ku drain maji kutoa maji kila mahali usafi na mambo kama diarrhea tumeweza kuzuia sana sana tu refer kwenda hospitali. With the support of World Vision, some community members started income generating activities. Kuna mi, miradi mingine wametufadhili, wametufadhili sungura, wametufadhili miche, unaona kama hizo miembe hizi zingine ni tumetoka zimetoka kwao, kila mtu tumewafundisha katika hizi nyumba zangu, wako na magunia, wako na mboga, sasa hii wanakula vizuri, wanapata greens. Sasa unakuta kwamba hata zile changamoto zilikuwa za magonjo tari yameanza kupungua. The community health strategy, however effective, has not lacked its fair share of challenges. So to shida pesa saidi, eh, kama unasa travel saizi, kama mpaka kipka, na mina kafa mpaka kipka, inaitaji kitu kwa motorbike. Na uenda wakati wamvua kama saizi, ni shida. Sasa singine, unesa kuta mutu wana kuambia la sima unipeleke hospitali, na ana chote chote, na uwe labda una, because you are a volunteer. So wa tunajaribu juu chini, tunakomunikate na Ministry of Health, amba ina facility, tunaweza kusaidia. Communication sometimes unaona sisi tunaweza kuwa na sasawa sababu sisi ni volunteers sometimes tunaweza run short of air time. So inafika mahali mtu anakuandikia message kuja uni assist. Niko na shida fulani unaweza kuja kutatua kabla hajafika hospitali. So ku respond sometimes ni shida itabidi uende sababu una air time. World Vision has also introduced health clubs in schools to foster hygiene. Before the health club was brought I used to come to school dirty. My clothes were dirty. I used to eat without washing my hands, and I used to eat any fruit without washing it. And uh, I sometimes I did not take shower. And now, but I've learned through health club. Each and every time when I'm I'm out of the toilet, when I'm going to eat food, and after eating food, and whatever I do, I must ensure that I maintain my hands clean. Another thing is that we have reduced absentees because of the spread of cholera. We know how to wash the toilets and the toilets are clean. The number of children are increasing because uh, whatever they are seeing with the, the others, those who started, they are seeing that these children are working hard because of the cleanliness. Some schools have also benefited from greenhouses. Uh, we had planted tomatoes. Uh, these tomatoes helped us and some of them we sold them and we got money and others we also use them in our diet also they provided uh, with us two tanks one for the boys and one for the girls water is a cradle of life and world vision has helped members of community in accessing clean water for farming and domestic purposes kwa upande wa maji ya kipkaren imetusaidia sana kama especially wakulima na wamama for domestic use what tunavuna every week na kwa wiki naweza vuna karibu 4 to 5 bags na every one bag is around 4000 shillings so they came built the tanks they gave us some uh, gi pipes we worked with the community uh, we contributed 30 percent that is carrying the pipes maybe uh, clearing the way for the, the, the piping lines and also uh, producing some materials. We plant passion fruits, we plant uh, vegetables, we also plant uh, mangoes and uh, uh, oranges, and also we started keeping animals. We started doing dairy farming as a business. I used to maybe get three liters of milk because I didn't have water. But when I have water in my compound, 
I can plant napier grass, I can improve the feeds for the animals, I now get 15 liters. So when I sell at 70 shillings, I'm assured of uh, some money every day. And then also when I planted the passion fruits using the same water and irrigation, I'm able to get something like 15,000 to 27,000 in a week. So this money which I get, I employ myself. I, I call it self-employment first. And then from that money, I can now pay my, I can pay school fees comfortably. In fact, my kids, most of them are in national school. Several lessons were learned from all parties while implementing the past project. It has helped us like realize that there, there are ways that we can monitor what you are doing and without necessarily having to use a budget for the same. Involvement of the partners is very important. I remember when we trained the Ministry of Health staff, they were able to assist us to roll out this program. A few challenges were encountered while implementing the past project. This is a process that came in form of a grant. You know, now grants have a lifetime. So if we are funded to do, for example, the health unit capacity assessment using the past initiative, then the project was over sometime last year. And then the ADP did not set aside the funds to do a subsequent. Now you see, you're not able to actually have a reflection. Because you did once, that comes like a baseline to you, and after that you've not assessed again. The single step, it was not able to generate reports which we could use for decision making as a program. So that was one of the main challenges. We, we ended up relying on DHIS, LQS, and the CIW functionality assessment. Several measures have been put in place to curb the challenges. In the FY15 financial plan, we made sure that we budget for uh, motivation for these CIWs. We are supporting a number of them to start up income generating activities that will bring in income and uh, they'll, they'll be motivated. For example, for the trainings we've done for all these community units, we've not been sourcing for outside catering. So in other words, we are paying them for the services they've provided for themselves. Also, there are some that, uh, that have benefited from some income generating activity. This is through integration with the other health projects. The various stakeholders had several recommendations that can help strengthen project monitoring. We formed kitu kama unit, yetu kama ya kutoa kitu kidogo. So, we formed World Vision and the Minister of Health. We joined, at least in the top of the kitu kidogo hapo, ili uyesu kutusaidia sisi kwa mamba ya communication na even traveling. Kitu mingi sana sana. One of the recommendations that I would make is that the other ADPs and partners can actually utilize the annual monitoring using simple systems because they are cheap, they are cost effective and require less time and you get the same quality data that has stood the test of time. All stuff to be initiated through this process so that um, they're able to assess at their own level. It doesn't need a technical person because as we say, they're simple systems. Anybody can use them. My recommendation is for every grant project that, uh, that is received or that is directed at an ADP, there should be a point person to man it. The past project has been a tremendous success, especially in identifying service gaps. And as a result, many vulnerable community members have received support. So, to na, to na appreciate sana our vision, kavilo amet saidiak to the tamaj bakanyuman. Some of our houses iko kwa milima, lakini to meza kufikiwa na maj. We want to thank the World Vision, and we want to say that uh, as a community. We want their support. Let them continue being friends with us. Let us continue uh, supporting the child. I would like to tell one vision to continue the same spirit because uh, they'll continue to help other people and also them, the, the world vision will continue growing and it will be a big uh, organization. We thank our donors and development partners for helping make this a success. May God bless you.